Hello there guys, this is Jack One Day talking here and in today's video I'm going to be showing you the best Minecraft shader packs you can download and install. So this is for Minecraft Java Edition and I'm going to be showing you the top 10. These shaders will help brighten up your Minecraft worlds. Minecraft has its own charm even after a decade of its blocky look. The right set of shaders can make the world really sparkle so I'm going to show you some of them today. A lot of these really enhance the look of waters and enable shadows to cast like through trees and in each forest quite differently and can provide quite a lot of magic and give you a lot of different effects from the sky. So yeah, let's dive into them. So if you want to use these shaders I'm about to show you in this video, you'll need to check out this video in the top right corner now as you'll have to download Optifine. Optifine is a modification that tweaks Minecraft and it provides an optimization and appearance tool which helps you make Minecraft look nicer and also run better. So make sure you check that video out after this video, I'll leave the link in the description as well so you can gain an understanding on how to download and install Optifine. So once you've downloaded Optifine, the next step is to actually download the shader of your choice and then once you've downloaded it, what you want to do is just open it in your downloads folder and if it's a zip folder then that's fine for most cases but click on the zip folder just have a look inside if it says shaders in a folder then you're all good to go just literally drag the zipped folder over to this destination on your computer so to get to this destination follow this path on screen obviously enter your own unique details or you can type in percentage sign app data percentage sign enter that then click on Minecraft, then click on shader packs and you've made it to that folder where you need to drag the shader folder into. So yeah, make sure you drag that whole zipped folder into that location. Just give it a nice little name if it hasn't already. Right, so now let's load up Minecraft. Whilst Minecraft is loading up, please smash that thumbs up button down below and also subscribe as I'm on the road to 10,000 subscribers. Also, don't forget to turn the bell notifications on. Okay, so now you're on Minecraft, you can either do this in the main menu or in an actual world. But you want to open the settings and go to this following location. Right, so what you want to do is click on settings, then video settings, and then it should say shaders. So once you're at this screen, you will have the list on the left with all your shaders listed. And all you got to do is click select on it and then click done. Simple as that, now your shader is loaded and the mod should work. So without wasting any more time, now let's dive into the top 10 shaders we have for this video. So coming in at number one is the Sonic Ethers Unbelievable Shaders. It's got handsome lighting overhauls. In this mod, I like the fact that the rain is quite soft and the shadows are actually really sharp and the skies have really good effects. So I just love how it makes Minecraft look really clean and it doesn't make it look too flashy with many effects and it changes just how it looks in general but it doesn't change how it feels and there's a good balance um, between like all the different effects and lighting um, which a lot of other shader packs don't always manage very well. So coming in at number two is Sildur's Vibrant Shaders. So it's an extension of the GL SL shader that completely changes Minecraft's lighting system. The performance is great and it looks clean and uplifting, like breathing a lung full of fresh pine air. There's also other things going for it, it's regularly updated with support for version of 1.17 of Minecraft and you can also download various versions, some of which are expected to run on older PCs meaning you can enjoy Minecraft with the reflections, the shadows and the god rays even if you're playing Minecraft on a potato. Number 3. Lagless Shaders So just like the last shader, if your rig isn't up to the task of ludicrous render distances and spectacular reflections, lagless is the way to go. This is a simple and easy way of upgrading Minecraft that won't make you feel like you're watching a, a slideshow and there's an honest simplicity this, to this pack that's rather endearing. Yes, there are other packs with fancier websites and brighter colours but lagless shaders only care about you getting your optimal Minecraft experience. It's the faithful and the scruffy mutt of shader packs. It's great. Number 4. Nihiligo's Cell Shaders so 
This shader is very different compared to the others. Most of the shaders on this list are quite sensible, but if this was a cocktail bar, then they would be very dry martinis. As this shader, by comparison, is big and fruity and lumptious and comes served with a sparkler. If you want Minecraft to feel like it's been chemically fused with Borderlands, then this shader is for you. With its bold colours and distinct black outlines, I personally think this shader is really cool and different. However, I couldn't play on it for very long as I don't know if it's my sort of cup of tea. But I'll leave that for you to decide. Banks up in the middle, we have number 5. So that's BSL Shaders. This is an elegant, professional looking shader giving you everything that feels of a bright morning before the sun breaks through and gets too hot. It's like going on a pleasant camping holiday inside Minecraft. It's a bright, breezy, uplifting tweak with saturation levels that give it almost a cell shaded look. It's inspired by Chocopix 13 shaders, which we'll come to in a bit, but it's different enough that it's worth including both. Extra points are scored for its functionality too, with an updated website. Now, number six. This one, too many effects. We don't want performance upgrades or general amendments to water reflections. We want our lens flares to have lens flare. We want to kill our FPS and leave the body blur in a shadow grave two blocks down. And Cranker Man's too many effects shader is going to give us just that. This shader then is marketed as the moon on a sticker shader pack with everything crammed into one resource hungry package. Experience entire forests of waving trees as your frame rate slows to a slug like speed. In truth, it doesn't seem too bad on my rig, but don't try running this on a laptop or an old machine. Number seven, continuum shaders. When you have seen a lot of shader packs, they tend to blend with each other. Even the best of us can get our chocolate picks confused with cyboxes. But continuum shaders stand out even when you are beginning to go shader blind. It adds every AAA lighting effect imaginable to Minecraft. And it has to be seen to be fully appreciated. Wafting plants, rippling waters, sun reflecting off waves, and many more. In terms of changes applied by a single shader pack, Continuum feels comprehensive. It's also slightly more professional than some of the other shaders on this list. With a website that will make you kind of do a, wait, is that really Minecraft? Double take? So definitely a shader to consider. Number eight, Cybox shaders. If it's striking shadows you're after, Cybox is here for you. This pack even accounts for the spaces between leaves on Minecraft trees. So the light actually passes through in the same way it would with real life foliage. It's the sort of shader you can pop on, then just sit back and relax as you watch the sun cast, mesmerizing shadows over the mountains. So if you're after them really nice sunsets, then this is the shader for you. Number nine, Chocopic 13's shaders. This is another classic shader, which provides the golden ratio of performance to aesthetics, which is another way of saying it looks good and runs well. Like many of the other shaders on this list, it comes in a selection of resource based varieties. Light for older machines, right up to extreme if you've got that GPU for it. And you probably have, you will get a smooth 60 frames per second on the highest setting even with an aging rig. Anyway, last but not least, number 10, CUDA shaders. They are a nice middle ground for anyone who wants a bold visual upgrade to Minecraft with a nicely optimized package. You can expect better shadows, god rays, fog blur, and more without any of the flashy elements that put some of people off using shaders. It's the visual equivalent of going for pizza because everyone wants something different. Not too exotic or challenging, but bold, satisfying, and understandably well loved. So I hope you enjoyed them shaders. If so, please comment down below which one is your favorite and which one you'll be installing. 
If you've got any shaders in mind which you think should be suggested in the next video like this, then comment them down below as well as I'd really appreciate that and who knows, you might see a comment in the video too. Whilst you're down there, don't forget to subscribe, turn the bell notifications on and also smash that thumbs up button as it helps push this video out to more people. Anyway, I've got two videos on screen now which I think you might enjoy, so I'll see you in them videos. Anyway, peace.